guys, Alex here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are back for another house tour here in Savior Estates Phase 2. So I will be showing you this beautiful bungalow listing in Phase 2. It is located in a very private area. So at the back of this house is already non-buildable space. So meaning you can utilize it even if you can't build on it. But it will be like your private area because you can plant stuff on it. And you can put non-permanent structures on it. But basically it's non-buildable. So that means nobody will be able to block your view or your airflow at the back of your house. So this house sits on a 500 square meter lot area it has a floor area of 300 square meters you'll see inside it has high ceilings with beautiful cove lighting so currently we are outside the house it has two car parking space it, it can fit like two SUVs and even a small car and there's also still a lot of space here in front so you can utilize it for additional parking also has this beautiful garden area over here the owner really had it landscaped with beautiful flowering plants because she actually designed this house when after she got home from a trip from Hawaii so that's why she put a lot of plants and you'll see inside her bedroom later on that it's really facing the garden so that when she wakes up in the morning you'll feel like you're just in Hawaii So let's check out the interior of the unit. So this is the receiving area over here. It's kind of like outdoors but indoors at the same time because it's all screened. So good airflow because it's all covered by screens on this side so you can lounge here and relax with your family. And this is the main door. So the main door is quite high. This is eight feet high and it's a double door. Very welcoming and wide as well. So welcome to the receiving area. So this is the second receiving area of the house, which goes straight into the living area. So it has high ceiling, beautiful cove lighting, lots of accent lighting and chandeliers, which makes the space even more bright and welcoming.
it has an eight-seater dining table over here so if you have a lot of guests you will have more than enough space to welcome them and for your eating for your dining needs And then the house just flows very smoothly right into the kitchen so they have this huge island over here lots of counters countertop space and overhead and underhead cabinets and they have this huge industrial sink as well so this is deeper and wider than your normal kitchen sink and you can also like move this around so if you're washing big items or like maybe plates then it would be easier for you to move and this house also comes with two water filtration systems so one is from the main which connects to the bathrooms so Kagayan de Oro really has hard water so if you take a shower with a normal water here in CDO you will find that your kind of skin becomes a little tough or your hair becomes a little hard but because of their water filtration system it's it has a really good effect when you take a shower and also the water from this tap over here is also drinkable water thanks to their filtration system so you won't have to like buy huge water bottles all the time because you can just drink straight from this tap already drinkable water and then they have this dishwasher over here so if you don't like doing the dishes you can just load everything inside the dishwasher and it will do the work for you and then on this island more shelves as well to store your stuff so this has a lot of space and then they also have this wine cooler over here so if you love drinking wine you can just cool it in the wine cooler so this house is already fully furnished by the way so all the major appliances and furniture already comes with the property they will be leaving almost everything behind but they will just take their personal belongings so like for example this will already be included the wine cooler this huge double door refrigerator already included so you can also get like water and ice already from here this has quite a lot of space so if you really want to like do your groceries or go to the market one time you can really you really have space to like stock everything here and then most of their appliances also came from the US it's just like this huge oven over here so if you love baking then you would be really able to enjoy using this one so it comes with a cooktop and a range hood and also this is already included so this is a huge microwave so the standard microwaves that we can see here are just half this size but they have this like really huge microwave again more storage space in this side so some kitchen towels and then they also have a pantry over here so if there are some appliances that you don't normally use often so you can store it in the pantry and it's also big enough to store your groceries as well
And before we finish with the kitchen tour, let me just show you these beautiful glass tiles from Mexico. So it's beautifully installed, very unique. I haven't seen anything like this in the Philippines. Two coffee makers, so owner said it will already come with the house as well. So this one is a one cup coffee maker. So if you're just making a cup of coffee for yourself, you can use this one. This one can make up to 10 cups of coffee. So it's perfect if you have guests. Now this house already comes with CCTV by the way. So if you're gonna be away on a trip, you can still check out what's happening at home via your CCTVs. They have a six channel fixed CCTV plus a four channel rotating CCTV. So you can control it using your phone. You can move it around so you can see what's really happening around your house. And then this house has three bedrooms plus a maid's room. So I'll show you the maid's room later. It's actually a separate area from the house. So the maid's area comes with its own toilet and bath, separate structures a house. This one, this area over here, more storage space for your plates. And then this is the laundry area. So this can actually be converted into like a fourth bedroom if you really need four bedrooms you can convert this into the fourth bedroom and do the laundry outside but for now the owner is using this as the laundry area so it's already equipped washing machine a dryer and also a kitchen sink plus a drainage as well And then there's also another room here. They call it their electrical room because the main electrical outlets are here. But you can also, she's also the owner currently is using this as a stock room as well. So if you have like maybe luggage, other cleaning materials or decor that you don't use, this is already sufficient enough to stock all of the stuff. And then there's a common toilet and bath over here on this side. And then two bedrooms so th this is the first bedroom so all the bedrooms come with a king-sized bed made of hardwood and all the bedrooms already have their own cabinets so more than enough storage space for your clothes comes with split type air conditioning as well
And then let's check out the second bedroom. So this second bedroom actually has a nice view because it looks out into the garden. So you can see the plants from here. Again, it comes with a king size bed and already has a vanity area plus your own cabinets. So this entire wall, cabinets lang and vanity area. So more than enough space, I guess, for your clothes. This bedroom also comes with a split type air conditioning already. So now let's go check out the main master bedroom. So welcome to the master bedroom. It is the biggest bedroom out of all the three bedrooms in this house and comes with split type air conditioning. There's already a small table over here made of hardwood for your stuff, huge television. And the best part about this bedroom is the view. So they had, the owner had wall, they were wall to wall, floor to ceiling windows installed so that once she wakes up, when she wakes up in the morning, she will be able to enjoy this view because she said it reminds her of the place they stayed at when they were in Hawaii. So this house was inspired by their Hawaiian vacation. So the master bedroom also comes with its own toilet and bath and walk-in closet. So this is the walk-in closet. You have cabinets and shelves on either side. You have a space over here to hang your belts, store your shoes, bags, and then it goes directly into this toilet and bath. They have two sinks over here. They have his and hers, and an enclosed shower as well. So I really like enclosed showers because it prevents water from spilling all over the bathroom when you know your when your spouse or you are taking a shower
did I mention that their gate can be con opened automatically? So instead of you or maybe your Yaya having to manually open the gate whenever you have to park, it can be opened automatically using a remote control. This house also comes with three Alexa devices. So the beauty of having Alexa in your home is that if you want to listen to music, if you want to search for something, or if you want to like set your alarm or maybe set an appointment or a reminder, you can just tell Alexa to do it instead of like Googling it or having to type something, then you just need to voice control it. So voice control is very convenient. You can do what you want to do hands-free. So let's check out the back part of the house. So this is the back area. Remember I mentioned in the beginning of the video that there's non-buildable space at the back. So this is it. And the owner already beautified the area by putting flowers, bougainvillea, and other plants at the back. So that even if you can't really build on the space, at least nobody will be able, able to block your view, block your airflow. You won't have a neighbor on this side. So this space over here is covered. So if you want to add maybe outdoor chairs over on this side, then you can also do so. And this house also has an auxiliary kitchen. So if you want to cook, you can also use this area over here. Comes with, again, this huge sink. This is the same sink that we have in the main kitchen. And there's a smaller oven over here that can be used for cooking and also a refrigerator and another microwave on this side as well. So if you don't want to use the main kitchen, if you're cooking maybe something that might smell, so you can use your auxiliary kitchen for that. Now let's head over to the maid's quarters, which is a separate structure from the house. So as you can see, there's still more storage space over here for the owner for her luggage. And this is the maid's toilet and bath. So currently the room is being used as storage area for the luggage, but you can put a double deck here if you have two maids. It is quite spacious actually for, for a maid's room and it's a small bungalow space just beside the main house. So if you're ever away on a trip, then your maid or your helper can have their own space in this property.
This house, by the way, was designed by Gemma Simania and it was built by architect Dennis Lagunilia. So, Mr. Lagunilia, architect Lagunilia, has built quite a lot of houses already here in Savior Estates, including this home. that ends our property tour for today if you would like to check out this house in person send me a message my contact info is in the description box down below and i also do have a buyer's guide on what to look for in buying a house here in the philippines so if you want to have a copy send me an email so i can send you my free ebook